understand we have a bunch of former Marines here. Where are you? <laughs> Happy birthday. Really? <laughs> Why did you jump ship? I tried to come back to her and I said I was still. Oh, really? Good for you. Good for you. We should do more of that. Jumping back and forth. <laughs> Madam Ambassador, Brigadier General King, fellow Marines, colleagues, and the families of those watching at home. Good afternoon and welcome to the dedication ceremony for the Marine Security Guard Residence Heritage Room in Kathmandu, Nepal. Every Marine Security Guard residence across the globe contains a dedicated heritage room in honor of a Marine, battle, or historical event that epitomizes the fighting spirit and victorious legacy of the Marine Corps. While providing humanitarian assistance to Nepal, Following devastating earthquakes on 25 and 26 April and 12 May 2015, a Marine Corps UH 1Y helicopter crashed approximately eight miles outside of Cherry Coat, killing six Marines, two Nepalese Army soldiers, two Nepalese civilians. The Marines of MSG Detachment Kathmandu, Nepal, are honoring the lives of those fallen by dedicating their heritage room in their name. At this time, I would like to welcome our guest of honor, the U.S. Ambassador to, to Nepal, Elena B. Teplitz. Marine Security Guards, Brigadier General King, and Embassy colleagues, and most importantly, the families of the fallen watching at home. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us at this ceremony to dedicate the Heritage Room. We'll always remember the events of April 25th, 2015, not only for the Marine Corps, but also for the country and people of Nepal. This is the day on which a massive earthquake, 7.8 on the Richter scale, shook parts of Nepal, killing over 9,000 people and injuring another 23,000. I'm proud, as I know you are, of how the United States responded to the catastrophe, swiftly, generously, and with friendship. An important component of this response was the rapid deployment of over 200 Marines, Marine Corps Ospreys, and helicopters. They joined several hundred other U.S. military and civilian personnel to provide much needed aid in some of the most precarious locations throughout the country, places devastated not only by the initial quake and aftershocks, but also by massive landslides. The Marine crews flew sortie after sortie under adverse conditions. Never once did they falter or hesitate. They were absolutely dedicated to assisting the people of Nepal in the best tradition of the Marines and in demonstration of the values of the American people. On May 12th, 13 individuals from all walks of life, including the six Marines we're honoring today, were killed when their Huey helicopter crashed outside of Cherokot in an attempted rescue. Captain Duskin, Dustin Lukasiewicz, Captain Christopher Norgren, Sergeant Eric Steeman, Sergeant Ward Johnson IV, Corporal Sarah Medina, and Lance Corporal Jacob Hug. These brave men and women gave their lives in support of a cause they deem far greater than themselves, a cause bound in dedication to their country, their corps, and to the country and people of Nepal. While we can never fully repay the price that was paid with their sacrifices, this room, in the U.S. Embassy Kathmandu's Marine House will serve as a sanctuary for their memory. They will forever be remembered and honored, and they will hold a special place in the history of the Marine Corps and of the United States' partnership with Nepal. Thank you. I'm uh, Brigadier General Tracy King, representing the CGA 3 MEF, uh, Lieutenant General Nicholson. Ma'am, on behalf of the commander of JTF 505, and all the Marines and uh, soldier, sailors, airmen, and Marines that responded, you know, thank you very much for your hospitality. You know, on the front end of the, the response effort, uh, the, the embassy opened their doors to us and, and helped us get set up so that we could, we could help Nepal, and we very much appreciate that. And the fact that we're, we're dedicating this, uh, th th this room to, you know, one of our squadrons and those six brave souls who died, we, you know, we'll never forget that. And for the families back home, all the way from, uh, you know, Captain Luke to uh, Lance Corporal Hug, uh, t tomorrow we're going to celebrate them, and uh, today we're going to memorialize them. So I, I wish you could see what I see in this room. Uh, you know, Marines and all of the uniformed services of the United States, we, we, everybody knows that we will march to the sound of the guns. Well, I, I think that this proves that we'll also march to the sound of crisis. 
And if you call us again, we'll be there. So thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Madam Ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, above the Marines, you see Vengeance Hall, the official name of our heritage room. In the adjacent hallway, the names, photos, and biographies of the six fallen Marines from Joint Task Force 505 who gave their last full measure of devotion in support of not only their country, but for the country of Nepal. At this time, I ask that we take a moment of silence in remembrance of the fallen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the dedication ceremony. Please take a moment to walk through the hallway to pay tribute to the fallen Marines. Thank you all for attending and Semper Fidelis.
that was their opportunity to